Toronto. Toronto is the capital city of the Canadian province of Ontario. With a recorded population of 2,700,000 in 2021, it is the most populous city in Canada and the fourth most populous city in North America. Toronto is an international center of business, finance, arts, and culture, and is recognized as one of the most multicultural and cosmopolitan cities in the world. Now, let's get into some pretty cool landmarks around this city. First off, we have the CN Tower. The CN Tower, 1,800 feet high, concrete communications and observation tower in downtown Toronto, Ontario, its name CN, referred to Canadian National, the railway company that built the tower. The CN Tower held the record for the world's tallest freestanding structure for 32 years, from 1975 until 2007, and was the world's tallest tower until 2009. It is currently the ninth tallest freestanding structure in the world and remains the tallest freestanding structure on land in the Western Hemisphere. In 1995, the CN Tower was declared one of the modern seven wonders of the world by the American Society of Civil Engineers. This tower attracts more than two million international visitors annually. It houses several observation decks, a revolving restaurant at some 1,100 feet, and an entertainment complex. This world-renowned tower is a must-see when you visit Toronto. Now, let's move on to the Royal Ontario Museum, which is a museum of art, world culture, and natural history in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. It is one of the largest museums in North America and the largest in Canada. It attracts more than one million visitors every year, making the Royal Ontario Museum the most visited museum in Canada. Established in 1912 and opened in 1914, and with more than 6 million items and 40 galleries, the museum's diverse collections of world culture and natural history contribute to its international reputation. The museum contains a collection of dinosaurs, minerals, and meteorites, Canadian and European historical artifacts, as well as African, Near Eastern, and East Asian art. It houses the world's largest collection of fossils from the Burgess Shale with more than 150,000 specimens. The museum also contains an extensive collection of design and fine art, including clothing, interior, and product design, especially Art Deco. I'll say there is plenty to see here, so go check it out. Now, are you ready to see some marine life? Well, it's time to chat about Ripley's Aquarium of Canada. It is a public aquarium in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. The aquarium is one of three aquariums owned and operated by Ripley Entertainment. It is located in downtown Toronto, just southeast of the CN Tower. The aquarium has 1.25 million gallons of marine and freshwater habitats from across the world. The exhibits hold more than 20,000 exotic sea and freshwater specimens for more than 450 species. The aquarium opened to the public in October 2013. The building features a multifaceted shell clad in large aluminum panels with the roof of the main entrance that gives the illusion of the Earth's crust peeling away to reveal a window into the aquatic world. The building was designed with special shielding so that sharks would not be disturbed by its electrical system. The aquarium is organized into 10 galleries. Canadian Waters, Rainbow Reef, Dangerous Lagoon, Discovery Center, The Gallery, Ray Bay, Swarm, Nature by Numbers, Planet Jellies, Life Support Systems, and the Shoreline Gallery. Don't hold your breath. Go see this underwater greatness before you leave. So, as if the landmarks we've already visited weren't enough, in comes the Distillery District. The Distillery District is a commercial and residential district in Toronto, Ontario, Canada east of downtown, which contains numerous cafes, restaurants, and shops housed within heritage buildings of the former Gooderham and Warts Distillery. The 13-acre district comprises more than 40 heritage buildings and 10 streets, and is the largest collection of Victorian-era industrial architecture in North America. The distillery district has a very urban design, with its traditional brick-paved streets and lanes are restricted to pedestrians and cyclists with general motor vehicle traffic restricted to streets and parking areas outside of the district historic center. 
Several large sculptures installed along the lanes enliven its streetscapes. Three being on Distillery Lane and the final one at the parking area at the end of Trinity Street. As the Toronto Star says, to enter the distillery is to step back into an era of horse-drawn carts, windmills, and sailing ships. Do not miss this beautifully designed place. It's waiting for you. And there you have it, a few of the most popular tourist attractions in Toronto. For exclusive highlights of more cities you've dreamed of traveling to, don't forget to like this video if you liked it and hit that subscribe button and tap that bell so you don't miss when we upload new videos each week. Chat soon!